Hello guys, so welcome to Cave Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a small tutorial on modeling and texturing a LHB Rajdhani coach in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request over here. So although I have created many engine tutorials, so I will be coming up with one more new tutorial on modeling and texturing it, the an LHB Rajdhani coach. So let's get started. So let's go into rendering view image file. So I can just go into rendering view image file or we have. So I have installed a latest version of it that's 2020 over here. You can also install 2021 if you require it. So you can go into file view image file and let's take a reference over here. So I have some uh, references for it. So very first of all, let's just take a plane over here. So after taking a plane, so take a box, let's just take a box over here, go into this and I'll slightly increase its height and I'll increase its width. So once you're done, so let's convert to editable poly. Select the vertices, slightly just push it further. <coughs> Select this edges. Let's give a bit of connect over here. So go into this and I'll slightly just make it more a bit roundish over here. You can do it in this way. We have another option also. Even you can uh, select this edges over here and slightly give a bit of chamfer like this let's click ok so select this vertices again slightly just push it up shuffle it a bit towards left and one towards the right now Again, I'll go into this. Let's go into the modeling part. And let's take a swift loop over here. So definitely we'll just go through it. Before that, I'll select all of these edges and let's give one connect. Just one connect press R and scale it from the top slightly just push it down shuffle it a bit up over here so I'm going to leave some space over here for this so I'll leave some space for this door section part now Again, I can take one more swift loop over here slightly and so if you want, I can just right click on it and I can use a bit of uh, cut over here <coughs> so I can easily use a cut option now it would be easy for me to put one loop over here so 
So now I'll select this polygons over here. I can slightly extrude it a bit inside over here and let's click OK. So let's just save it once again over here. Save it. So let's just give one color to it. After that, I can slightly select this edge. Slightly shuffle it in this way. I can select this edge slightly shuffle towards the right part a bit over here so select this polygons uh, put one swift loop over here Let's give a bit of inset over here and let's slightly give a bit of extrusion. Slightly I'll just extrude it inside. Select the vertices. Push it a bit inside. And now Let's go into the spline. Let's take a line tool over here and I'll create something like this. Select the vertices and let's give a bit of fillet. So you can slightly give a bit of fillet over here, rendering, enable in viewport and increase its radial a bit. So now I can uh, still increase its thickness, go into the vertices, slightly just push this down over here and I'll just rotate it keep it over here this way and let's go into this into the front view and I'll just mirror it in X axis and I'll just push it over here All right. So we can again go over here and let's again take a box over here, auto grid. So slightly, just shuffle it inside. So convert to editable poly. Let's add a swift loop over here. We can do the detailings later on also if required. I can just give a bit of 
inset slightly i can give a bit of bevel click okay select this edges and slightly give a bit of chamfer so before that ring it and give a bit of chamfer over here so loop this alt l slightly chamfer it ring it chamfer it Not a problem. We can later on make it much more smoother. We can do that. Not a issue. So that can be done easily over here. So if I just ring this and if I try to chamfer it, you see that it's going to chamfer in this way. If you ring it and if you chamfer it, it's very difficult when you try to texture it. It is not possible over here. So if you want, you can keep this or. I'll just undo it, <coughs> not a problem. We'll do the detailing part later on. So for now, I'll just go over here and I'll just uh, end isolate this over here in this way. <coughs> After that, so whatever details are required that can be done later on. I'll take a line tool over here. Aloft this auto grid over here and I'll make this shape in this way rectangular make it rectangular over here I'll slightly reduce its length and width push it a bit up select the vertices convert to editable poly again let's go into this edges let's give connect to it select the vertices make it straight slightly just push this up Again make it straight, push it up, again select this edges and let's slightly make it straight again. So select this polygons and let's just bridge this over here. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will be definitely continuing this in the other part. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. If you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.